You're listening to the Business Communicators. I'm also not interested in shooting anybody anywhere at any time that doesn't want to be there because that always shows. And sometimes, you know, some of the, the, some of the jocks or some of the, the uh, musicians, they put on that front. Oh, God, another one. But as soon as you have two seconds with them and you chat with them, you know, and you get in your groove, then, you know, everybody is super nice. And, okay, yeah, you're okay. You're not going to. And then the other thing, too, and, and I'm sure I'm going to get a lot of whatever on this, is there are a lot of photographers. I run into this. You guys have run into this. I'm sure um, really think they're God's gift to the world and think that they're, you know, they're brain surgeons basically. And I, I don't, I don't get that. I mean, there's so many, so many creatives that are like that, not just photographers, um, but you know, a lot of filmmakers, directors, things like that. And it's just, uh, it's just, you know, it's not my thing. Even the artists that we deal with, none of them are like that. You know, when we shot Cardi B, um, we had to do a portrait of her and it was a night that she was going to perform in New Orleans. And she said, and it was a big, I mean, I think Fetty Wap and MGK, and there were like four or five artists. So she was going on late. And, you know, we had been, we shot portraits of all of them that day. Um, and then we stuck around for the show. Um, and actually it was really funny because I was backstage with Cardi B. We were doing a couple of shots backstage that, that the client wanted. And yes, he's, uh, I come back and yes, he's at the, at the very front of the, uh, the very front of the stage and she's just smiling from ear to ear. And this is really right before she hit it. Well, she already hit it really big. Um, but I, I, I said, what's going on? She goes, she is just awesome. You know, and, and she was, but anyway, so Cardi asked early in the day if we could do the portrait after the set. So that we knew that was going to be like at 2 a.m. And the way the portrait was set up, it was set up in an elevator way up in the back of the venue. And so Cardi in, in her whole outfit in super high heels, because the place still had a bunch of, you know, uh, fans in it. She had to walk the fire escape in those heels up, what, like three stories to get to the elevator for the shot. And this was two or three in the morning when she was, you know, as professional as it gets. And I love working with people like that. She knew we had to get the shot. She knew that she wanted to do the shot and she was willing to do it. It took, you know, to get there to, to do the shot. And you just, I love people like that. I mean, you walk away from something like that. You just can't go to sleep. You're so excited. She was awesome. The shot was awesome. It was a great night. So, and I still get incredibly excited about, about the work that we do. Uh, nice. Yeah. And um, the other thing too is, is, you know, the, the misconceptions about that everybody has, you know, everybody goes, who is the nicest person? And just tell me to be quiet. If you want me to stop, please. No, um, I'm loving this. <laughs> but they, they go, yeah. who is the nicest person you, you, or who's the most professional person you've ever worked with? And, you know, they expect it to be some country artist or something, but probably it has to be Lil Wayne. Lil Wayne was probably wow. the not yeah not he we had a pretty big crew this was a big shoot and I don't know if you guys know anything about Rap a Lot Records Jay Prince and, and you know he owns it and so it was out at Jay Prince's ranch out in Prairie View around Prairie View and uh, we had to do an ad with Lil Wayne and then afterwards we were doing a couple of you know personal shots for him and and um, we we had it was a big crew because there was a lot of stuff and. The one and only time this has ever happened out of all my years, when we were done, Lil Wayne personally came over. Not did he, not only did he shake everyone's hand on the crew, he remembered everybody's name, everybody's name. That's and nobody amazing. has ever done that. Nobody has ever done that. And, you know, that was an, a few years ago. And that's still that will always stick with me. Yeah. Yeah. And then uh, we did Stevie Ray Vaughan at the Astrodome before he was doing his set. He was opening for The Who. And we had a studio set up in the back. Back We had to do just a really quick shot. And the shot I needed was of Stevie Ray and his band Double Trouble. But there was a Texas Monthly photographer next to me, and she just needed Stevie Ray. And he refused to do it, not because he was a jerk. He said, look, we're a band, and that we'll either do the shot with the band or we're not, we're not doing solo shots. And I thought, man, that's pretty cool. You know, having that kind of, of uh, allegiance to the guys that got him where he is, um, that, that's, I thought that was really neat. So these guys, some of these guys really surprised, surprised you in a good way. <laughs> 
Yeah, I always say it, it. people seem to be surprised when they hear about how nice some folks are. And I say, well, they put their pants on one leg at a time, just like the rest of us. And, or somebody you know, puts their pants on one leg at a time. There you go. There you go. <laughs> hey. But, <laughs> but I think it's a, it's a good lesson at the end of the day that, like, it doesn't matter who you are or what you do. Like, kindness matters at the end of the day. And I, yeah, I it, it does, respect respect matters, and it doesn't Absolutely. matter it doesn't matter what part of the globe you're from. Um, people are just like us. You've been listening to the Business Communicators.